Tino Black here, folks, and been trying to show you this all day with all the other information, and we're going to have a lot more here behind this. So this is that far away. That's a hell of a long far away. I mean, that's way, way, way out. Okay. I don't know how many light years that is, but that's way out. Okay. But watch what showed up in the New Mexico sky last night with that. Okay. Here we go. That's that far away. I'll end up in a future video or on my website I will put how far away that is but that's a hell of far away and look how big that is and how bright that is. Now we got a total match on this because I'm going to bring up 6 a.m. Central Standard Time which will end up being the uh, I think you can see right now down here in the recording of it would be this time here or actually pretty darn close to it okay it's 1036 I guess an idea that I thought that this one had got recorded at like 12 something we'll go back to the data real fast Okay, well, six hours off of that, so I'll even plug that in. Let me let me put that in so we even have a direct hit. Okay, it's going to be a first look right here in front of the camera too, but it should match up. And yes, it's going to. You, you're going to see this V. These are the two or the three brightest stars in constellations down here, and this is part of Rigel. Rigel is one of these big buggers here. It's either one of these or this one, and I think this is Betelgeuse, if I remember right. The one that shoots the arrows, the headless warrior that shoots the arrows. But anyway, you're going to see these three biggest stars here in a V. And we had, on the previous video, you're going to see that the moon was over there, Jupiter was over there to the west. I think that they ended up messing up on their data sheet on putting what quadrant that it was up out of. As you can see that basically the maps don't lie, east, west, and they said it was northwest on that one. And the idea we showed the moon and Jupiter over here in the northwest quadrant so the idea and then that star was up over here in the eastern quadrant so I think they made a mistake on that data but anyway that was a close object we were just showing you and then the idea that we'll go to the movie real fast and you will see bam 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 that's the correct time 5 a.m. would be up for the 10 a.m. which would be basically six hours behind because it's UTC time. So that's that object. And it's way the hell out there. So that's a big ass bright object showing up in the New Mexico sky. 337 point something all you away. Okay. Pretty impressive. Okay. So uh, the data sheet on the first video of the day we showed you of it too. And the idea that there's supposed to be two, one object that's like 2.2 kilometers big might have been one of these because the idea that when I refreshed it earlier today so with the one it would they were supposed to be like 75 IU point IU away we'll go to we'll go to RSO and I have to use this faded one but it's basically supposed to be this 75.9 IU and 47.4 IU away so we'll have to look at the data sheets real here fast we'll pull them up and we'll see what can possibly be close to that. So the idea that we do know we have that one way, way out, 330 something show up. So that's farther all you, so that could have been one of them. But it just what ended up farther away than what, the, what they expected? That's all the way out at 4 IU. So it'll be interesting to see if anybody's got any coverage of the idea that. Now, this one here, yeah, it's 4 IU again. 6.5 RU. So the idea that at least we did pick up in the New Mexico sky. So the idea that it'd be interesting. If whoever comes up with the other footage of those two objects that were so it's going to be interesting if somebody to get footage of this here because it was 2.2 kilometers large and very fast at 86,724 kilometers an hour 24.09 kilometers a second so it's going to be interesting on if anybody get any footage of 2011 FZ2 because that's a big ass object going by okay and we know we got YU-55 coming really close. We're going to get some kind of action out of that. And we had an earthquake action pretty good today with uh, uh, Nicaragua, I think, had a really big quake, 5.9 or something like that. And the action we've had the last couple days with uh, 
Oklahoma getting its quake and everything like that. So it all ties in. Okay, we're going to go down to Nehemiah Station down in the Antarctic, and we're going to show you two suns because basically they came up today. And you already had the other earlier video today, and this is going to be even more impressive and more clear. Okay, so there we are. It's south of Australia, and there we are, United States, North America, and it is down here. Okay, we pay attention to the camera positions. Okay, camera positions in near our station. We're going to go all the way to the bottom. It's very clear about how they are. Okay, points in the southeastern direction, station. Okay, so south for the station roof. Pointing south of the station roof is going to be this. This is the south station view, okay, from the roof. Okay, this is the station to the north that also looks to the north, okay. Northeast from the roof, the acoustic observatory, north station. Okay, but it points to the northwest, okay. But we got some really good footage from that, and I showed you this earlier, and the idea that that is very interesting because this view is back here where you got those two suns, okay? That's pointed to the north, okay? This camera shoots at the station to the north, east, okay? So the idea that we're going to show you at the end here a sun at the south of Neomar, okay? Because that shoots from this roof here shoot south. At the same time, there's going to be a sun down there. So we have more than two suns. We possibly have three. Let's go to the footage off of, I'm going to go right to the deal so you'll see I'm pulling up the tape. Okay, there we are. We're, and this is the one that shoots, that is this station is to the north of the station that is south and this sh shoots to the northeast. And it's basically going to be a clearer shot of what I've already showed you of two suns coming up. Let's step it forward. Okay, there's the sun coming up, right? Okay, now watch the horizon. Sun's up, right? It's up high to the right, right? Okay, now watch that. And what is that? That's correct, folks. That's not Jupiter or anything like that coming up, okay? Now we do know by looking at, because we can even go to like New Mexico and go to this, okay? We do know that Jupiter's up over there, okay? But then are the supergiants in the more than one sun illuminating Jupiter that much that that's what it looks like? But see, this is at 5 a.m. Central Standard Time, okay? And then UTC time down there is 5 UTC, okay? So then that means that would be like... That shot up there is 5 central time, and we'd have to go 5 hours beyond that. So basically, we'd have to go to like midnight on that. So I'll go to midnight to prove that that's not Jupiter right here that's coming up, okay? So when we get done with this, we're going to go to the map, and I'll show you Jupiter at midnight time, central standard time, okay? Which would be 6 hours behind, okay? And would show you that more than likely, Jupiter's not even going to show up on the map, okay? So let's step it. And we already know the sun's up here, right? And we've already showed you the purple blob before, right? What's that, folks? That's a second sun. Okay? Comes up and goes back down, right? That's correct. The bigger one is more than likely Alraf, our normal sun. But we do, and this is to the north, folks. So it's not coming up below. It's coming up with our sun in the supergiants, okay? A very straightforward, that's backing up. But there it comes up, and you can even see a little glimpse of it even right there. This is to the north east. So this comes up, the little baby sun, in front of our sun in the supergiants. Okay? Now, even more amazing than that, it just, it just comes up over the horizon for just a little bit and then back down. Okay? And you can go down and play Palau, but that's not the most important thing right now. We're going to go back, and we're going to go. Okay, there's the map. I'll go ahead and punch in. I'm going to freeze the recording, but I'm going to go ahead and punch in the 12 midnight of the 6th, or basically 12.01 on the 7th. Okay, so here we go, 12.15 a.m., and there you go. There's Jupiter straight up, not in the northeast. <coughs> okay? So the idea that the moon is there, and you didn't see that down there either, 
coming up over the horizon or anything, and it's coming out of the east. The sun's coming out of the east, okay? So it wasn't Jupiter, and we already seen the sun and the supergiants come up, okay? So it wasn't Jupiter that you saw. It was the baby sun, okay? Because there we go. This is basically over the Arizona sky, but it shows all of North America pretty much. 12.15 a.m. on the 7th, and basically that is our plow time of when the sun came up. Okay? Because it's six hours advanced. There it is. Comes up. It's 6 UTC. That's six hours ahead of our central time. Pops up. And that little sun is just laying there. Right in front of our normal sun. And Alarath. And the supergiants. I think this basically will play through this 2100 UTC. And like I say, this is to the northeast. Okay, now let's go to the southeast real fast before we run out of time. 15 minutes goes real fast when you're trying to show these things. And I don't, you're not really going to see much here. I don't know if you'll get the dark shadow like I've showed you in the past of the pictures. But yep, there it is. But then again, that could just be a storm that came through. But there's a dark shadow in the daylight. Nah, that's 6 UTC coming up. But basically, they get 23, 4, 24 hours of sunlight down. Let's go to the one that's going to show you that the idea there's a sun that comes up even south of these two suns. Okay, folks? So we're going to go to the other camera that shoots south. With the idea that it sees a sun besides these that were come up in the northeast. Okay, this is the northeast. Now let's go to the south shot. And really quick, to the below the south pole, if they're looking south, there's not going to be any constellations that are going to be bright. It just would be these here over there. Not going to be to the south like this camera shows that it's from. And I, let me scoot it up so you know that this is still the same. Okay. I'm not playing with you, okay? 12.15 a.m. Okay. So remember, folks, the plow is north of Nehemiah, 20 miles, and it shoots to the northeast. Okay. This one shoots to the south and it is from Nehemiah station okay it's on the roof okay so let's go to the photos for the day okay now this is to the south folks okay to the south and they show a brightness down there to the south and that's from zero to three okay so there is our Quite possibly, that's the baby sun that we keep on seeing in going to here. Early in the morning, 3 UTC, and at 1, 1 UTC, there you go. There's our baby sun to the south comes up from the South Pole, comes out from down there, and then disappears later in the day at the 6 UTC time. There it is. That's our baby sun. Okay? There's our baby sun that we seen on the Palau northeast view. It's in the northeast, and there's our baby sun. That's not the sun. That's the baby sun. Okay? 640 UTC. Okay? Now, at 640 UTC, and then later in the day, it disappears. You don't see it anymore at 851 UTC, 923 UTC, 1036 UTC. That baby sun's gone. The last little view you can even see of it is from, I'll go to that one real fast and see what it is, but you can barely see it. Okay, so 9 something, 950 something. It disappears, and that was the close object right there that disappeared on uh, New Mexico sky. So it actually even disappears. Our baby sun disappears, and that more than likely could be that fuzzy purple black thing that it actually maybe falls around because it rises and falls with the sun, as we've seen as the Chinese footage and the Columbia footage, especially the space shuttle footage, we could see that it rises and falls, and there's the tetrahydron. So there is our blob that is in front of that little baby sun, and there's our baby sun. Be because, folks, 
9.23 UTC time is 3.23 a.m. Central Time. Okay? Legal disclosure.